Hey sewing friends, I thought I would show you what I got in my Merchant and Nails box that I just that just arrived tonight. I was actually going to do a video showing you my most recent make and some of the plans that I have um, regarding that make, but then my Merchant and Nails delivery came and I couldn't wait to to see to see what was in it. Um, so I thought I would do an unboxing, and I actually did do an unboxing video where I you know opened it up because I hadn't seen it but my camera was on the wrong setting it was on slow motion so when i went to to edit it it went like oh that's not going to work so i'm kind of just redoing it and that's why the box is already open but i thought i would show it to you um what i got um they sent me a little thank you card they always include something like that and then i ordered a couple of patterns one i got was their bucket hat pattern it's a free one i mean it's free so i thought it'd be fun to make and um it's just a little hat that i thought i would make i have some um leftover twill that i think would make a good hat um, out of that and i'm not sure where the um, material it is but um i got that but then i also got the barca dog coat and i the pattern wasn't in there so, oh, bummer. Um, and that's really no big deal because um, hopefully we're kind of getting past, well, we're past the cold weather. It's still rainy and windy in here, so it's stormy here, but the really cold weather is gone. So I was really kind of thinking of getting that pattern and making it for next winter for the dogs. So anyhow, I emailed them and said, I'm sorry, I didn't get it. Can you possibly send it to me? So I'll let you know how that goes. And then I got a couple patterns. One pattern that I got was their pajama pattern called the Winnie. And I'm thinking of making like the short sleeve version, the short top here with the shorts. Yeah, not the, I mean, maybe the short shorts or the shorts. And the reason I wanted a pajama pattern is, and maybe you guys can help me decide, it gets really hot here in the summer, not just warm, but hot. And sometimes the nights are very hot. And I don't like sleeping with the air conditioning on because then you get, I mean, there's maybe three or four nights where it's just so insufferably hot that you do have to go to bed with the air on. But usually I try and, you know, have the windows open. And so I had this silk. Um, last November, a friend of mine passed away from school and we went down to LA for her funeral. And on the way back the next day, um, we stopped at Mood Fabrics. And I found this silk here, which for some reason, it just spoke to me. I don't know why. It's very bright, very wild. It really isn't me in, in any regards, I guess. And it ended up being actually a panel. Um, so here's like the middle of the pattern, I guess. I don't know if you can see it. But it's really a very luxurious silk. I think it might be like a charmeuse or something. I don't know. But very, very, um, just a very nice feeling um, silk. So I don't know. I've never had silk pajamas, and I don't know what I'm going to use this silk for. It's one of those ones where my husband's like, oh, you should buy it. You should, but you like it so much, you should buy it. So I went and bought three panels, and it was actually rather pricey. I think it was like, I don't know, $70, $75 a panel. Super, super nice, but I can't really see myself wearing a blouse or or a skirt or anything really because it's just so bright. I don't know. So I was thinking of making some um, silk pajamas for those super hot nights that are really just around the corner for us. So I don't know, have you ever worn silk pajamas? Do you think they're worth having or do they make you hot? <laughs> if, if you have, let me know in the comments what, what you think. So that was pattern number one. Then the next pattern I got was um, the factory dress. And this is kind of like an oldie but a goodie, but I've just always had my eye on this. And you know, the thing, I really love the Merchant, merchant and Mills aesthetic. Um, and it kind of resonates with me. Um, and so I, I've found very few, uh, 
I guess, YouTube videos or even Instagrams about a lot of their um, patterns. But I, I did I did like this. So I went ahead and bought this, um, and I'm not sure what material I'm going to make it out of. It'll probably be a nice linen or something. And I did buy two pieces of linen. And then the third pattern I bought was something I kind of had my eye on for a while. I followed this one woman on Instagram. I think her name is Katie. Her Instagram is Stitch Me A Year. And the first time I actually saw the fielder dress um, being worn, because I'd seen the pattern and I remember on the website, and we all know Merchant and Mills does not have the best drawings. Um, <laughs> and I remember the game, eh. But I saw this picture and I really liked the dress. It really resonated with me. So I thought, oh, I want to make a fielder. And I kind of like had that in the back of my mind for a couple of months now. I mean, I really were, were getting out of fall and into the spring. So, I mean, I guess it does have a short sleeve version on the top, but I don't know that I would, I don't know, I'll have to think about that. But I liked the fielder, and then I saw a few, you know, weeks later or whatever, her post, I saw this picture, and I really liked that dress, and I really liked the Oxfords that she had with them. Look at those Oxfords. Now, I love Oxford shoes. I really do. I have the traditional black and white ones, you know, of the 50s that I wear. Then I have a really nice pair that, um, you know, I, I got, it kind of has a, a tan and a peach color and a, a silver to it um, and I saw hers and I thought oh wow that looks good and she was wearing it with a dress and I thought that it looked really good and I thought you know I could probably make a fielder and find a good Oxford shoe that I could wear with it and kind of you know emulate her her look a little bit or be inspired by her look so that's why I bought the fielder and then I bought two types of linen and I'm not sure which ones and you know, actually what they did too, sent me, which was really nice of them, they sent me their sample cards of their 185 linen. So there's like, I think 30, there's 10 on each one, and these are all the colors they have. And I think this is really cool, that was really nice of them, because you know, if you, um, I think you can order this, but I think it costs like six bucks. I mean, I know that's not a lot, but it was nice of them to include it, so you can actually see what the colors are and see um, what they look like because a couple of times I have ordered material and it's arrived and I've gone oh <laughs> so that was very nice so anyhow the one material the one linen I ordered was called their ginger and it's the one that a stitch in a year used for hers I didn't realize it at the time I just was online and thought okay that's kind of in my color palette I think it would look good on me and then when I was going back to find a picture of it, I realized, oh, she made the same one. So anyhow, this is their ginger. And I bought three different types of ribbing. So I'm not really sure which one I want to go with it. The first one is kind of this black and gold, which I think, I don't know if you can see that up close. I really like the look of that. And I'm kind of bummed because these are kind of like fall colors and we're coming into spring, but I still think I could get some good wear out of this. Um, so that's one rib color. The next has more of a navy and a gold and a gray and a white. I don't know if on camera if it's going to show up any different if the gray, if there's much differenti differentiation between the... Um, navy and the black. Here, I'll put them side by side. I don't know if you can really see the difference there. And then the third one I find is kind of interesting. It has a gold and kind of this olive green to it. Now on camera, it looks like this is coming off as a brown, but it's really kind of an olive green. So, um, I like that one too. So that's one um, linen that I'm thinking of making my fielder out of. The other one I got, they call it Boston Fall. It's kind of an orangey, 
um, cinnamony one. I actually bought a linen. It's a little bit darker than this. And it was interesting because I kept that linen in my stash for a couple of years thinking, oh, that's not a good color on me. And, and so I used it just, I don't know, to just make a, a, a it's just merchant mail's dress. And I actually thought it did kind of look, the color did look good on me. And then I showed you guys um, on a video and several of you said that color actually <laughs> looks good on you. So, you know, kudos to having your colors done. It really does open your eyes as to what you think is your color, uh, you know, if you don't know. So anyhow, this is the second one that I got. And again, here are the ribs to make. And the ribs are these, they're pre-cut strips that Merchant Mills have. And I really like them because they're just a little different. You know, they're different than your average um, plain color solid ribs. I really like the detail in it. So here's the black one, which I think is very attractive on this one. Here is the blue and gray one, which there's a part of me that says, Oh, I really like that. But I think what wins out on this color is kind of this olive greeny one. And I think, you know, sometimes it looks brown, but I think if I hold it, if you look at it, it's really more of an olive green. It has a nice contrast to it. So again, I'm not sure which one I'm going to pair with each fabric or which fabric I'm going to use. I might make one fielder dress. I might make two fielder dresses. I don't know. But anyhow, that is my Merchant and Mills um, package and I'm very thrilled about it. So I'm going to be twalling away this weekend on, um, on my fielder and my factory dress. And then tomorrow I will go ahead and post my video on the make that I just finished this weekend and the inspiration that is going with that. Um, that make, I have to say, has really gotten my sojo, sojo back. It has just really sparked some inspiration with me. So um, I'm excited about that one. So that's all I have for today. If you feel so inclined, I'd appreciate it if you would like, share, and subscribe. And hopefully I will see you tomorrow to show you the make that I completed this weekend. Thanks so much, you guys. I appreciate you all. Bye.